Hi all, this is Sia Naz and welcome to episode 81 of the Diary of Sia Naz. So as you can see, we're, we're, I'm celebrating 8,000 plays or downloads of my podcast. Um, got these giant numbers behind me. I didn't think they were going to be this big, big um, uh, silver balloons and I've got a silver background. I don't know why, I've just gone for like a silver theme. And then for my eyeshadow, I've got this awesome eyeshadow that I got from Glam Goth Beauty. So it's this little pot here. It's a black owned beauty brand. It's this gorgeous little glitter. So... Um, I actually had to buy some eye eyeshadow glue. I, don't, I can't remember what it's called, like a primer glue. And then you can stick these on top. So it's not like a normal eyeshadow. It's like glitter that you have to stick to your eye. And it just went everywhere. This one, I think it's called Dangerous. It does say Dangerous on the top. But it's from Glam Goth Beauty. So definitely check them out. Um, their makeup is amazing. I've got this and I'm waiting for a few more things to come. But they sell out so quickly. And I got this because this was the only thing left. And I was inspired by... I was going to promise myself... Oh, oh I do have everything ready by this picture look how gorgeous that is and I sort of don't <laughs> I don't look like that at all the picture is um of a model with this eye glitter on and some really dark eyeshadow um but I didn't want to look too gothic and do it too dark because too dark brighter colors suit me and this is really quite dark I mean she's gorgeous but all I could get was the glitter and I've got eyeliner on there too but not as dramatic as hers but if you check out the video once it comes out on Wednesday you can see the picture I'm holding up and she's gorgeous and definitely check out um, Glam Goth Beauty the makeup's really awesome so that explains today celebrating 8,000 plays so thank you to everyone who listens and downloads and watches and hopefully shares so I'm enjoying doing the podcast and I'm looking forward to getting up to 10,000 and doing my 100 episodes like I said I would. Um, after that I'm not too sure what's going to happen. Am I going to continue? I don't know. I think maybe I'd like to start interviewing people instead of just talking um, to myself <laughs> um, just to make it a bit more exciting because I'm getting contacted by beat makers and other people that want to collab so it would be nice to talk to other people as well even because um, a lot of them are, well they're all from overseas from America and um, Naven was from uh, Nigeria and I get contacted by all sorts of people and and to collab with and to talk to like Australian hip hop artists will be really good too. So we'll see about that. Okay, so let's start the week. So the week started on the 20th of July and it started on Monday. And on Monday, I edited, uploaded, and promoted the podcast. Um, also, got some makeup that I've been waiting for forever from Coloured Rain. And what I got was this gorgeous lip gloss and it's a bright orange and it really, really suits me. You can check out my Sears Beauty World account and you can see me with this one. And this one is called Electric Rain. You're not going to be able to see the name. It's Electric Rain and this, it's this gorgeous orange colour. Just wonderful. And then the other lipstick that I got is called Empathy and it's the one that I'm wearing. And Empathy looks like this. It's a lovely nude colour. And it's from, as I said, Coloured Rain. So it's called Empathy. And I found out about this colour from Nikki Tutorials when she did her makeup with um, only using black owned beauty brands. And I saw that colour and I'm like, I've got to have it. So that's this colour. It's lovely. And I've put a gloss on top from... Um, Mellow Cosmetics, so there's a different gloss on top. So I was just given a uh, a sheen because that's a matte lipstick. And again, I don't know why I buy matte when I always put a gloss on top because I love gloss. Um, but there you go. Um, so on Monday, I also started editing my video podcast. And as I'm looking down, I'm looking at my unicorn fluffy rainbow colored diary that I record my week in 
and I started editing the video podcast. Uh, on Monday, I sold all of my Jeffree Star cosmetics. I've had enough of his excuses and I've had enough of, I've heard enough about him that I'm really appalled. I'm really sad by it because I really did enjoy um, following along and watching his journey and what he's doing because it was fun and I like fun. But unfortunately, he's a racist, he's a liar, he's a manipulator and he's just really all around um, not a very nice person. And I just had enough of it, and I, I sold 90% of my cosmetics, actually all, all of it, to one person, a girl in Perth, and she just got the lot. <laughs> so thank God for Gumtree, because on eBay you can't sell um, used cosmetics, but on Gumtree I just got rid of all of it. And then I um, sold my beanie and bag, and makeup bag and I gave away some lip glosses in that for free on eBay um, I guess because it's free they couldn't take my um, posts down so all I've got left are two jumpers from everything and all the mirrors have gone all the palettes have gone um, yeah it's all gone so that's really sad I've never ever done that and it's really really disappointing to find out that he's, I don't want to say he's such a terrible person, um, but that he's not a nice person. And I've, I've never been in this situation before. I just didn't want to, um, he, you know, he's a racist and being in hip hop, I can't support somebody like him and keep his makeup. Uh, so I just got rid of all of it. So it's really sad. So that was on Monday, and then on Tuesday, I'd finished editing the um, video podcast, and I uploaded it, um, and I uploaded the video for Beat of the Week, which is, huh? Um, no, that was for, I uploaded last week's Beat of the Week, which was Noise, um, which is really cool, I, I like that beat. Um, and on Tuesdays when I got the gl the glitter that I'm wearing now from Glam Goth Beauty, this gorgeous little pot, looks like a diamond, such great packaging, really is, and it came in like, um, a dark, uh, a magenta, burgundy, a burgundy silk bag, I don't think it's silk, but silky bag, so that was really nice and a very nice package, so that was really nice, I was getting a bit worried about it because I thought maybe it got lost. Um, I watched Off the Record, which is about David Foster, the super producer, and that was really interesting to watch. He was very honest, um, especially talking about himself and saying that he runs away from personal situations. <laughs> like, I would never tell people that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really interesting to see that at the start, like, he failed a lot, and I like to see that. <laughs> And then he just persevered and he just kept going and just kept doing and just kept working with people. And he even admitted that when he was younger, he was he was not a very nice person and he was very arrogant. Um, but you know what? He got the job done. Not that it, that's an excuse, but um, yeah, it was, it was interesting to see. And um, yeah, his current wife is the lady from um, Scorpion, which I really enjoyed watching. I don't think it's on anymore, but I'm like, where have I seen her from? Then I had to look it up, and, and that's his wife is um, the lady that's on Scorpion. So if you watch it, you'll know who she is. Um, and also um, from, I don't know if she's from the UK or from the US, but a brand has offered to send me some makeup, which is really nice because I've only got like 50 followers. So I'm not going to say the brand is until the makeup comes because maybe it might not come. But I noticed that she likes a lot of my posts and she um, communicates with me a lot, which is lovely. Um, and she said that she's going to send me some stuff. I noticed that today she wrote that she's getting married today. She did a post for that. So congratulations to her. Um, so that's really nice, um, because usually other people that say, you know, they want to collab, I have to pay for it, or I get a discount, but she's offered to send it to me from overseas, oh, it's in the UK, it's a brand in the UK, so she's in the UK, a black owned beauty brand, which I love supporting, and she's going to send me some stuff, I don't know what it is, but I know that she's got a brand ambassador program, but you have to buy 200 pounds worth of makeup, 
and that's almost 400 Australian. So I think she needs to rethink that because uh, that's very expensive and she's a new brand. So I wouldn't be telling people you have to buy this much makeup. Otherwise, you're not going to get anyone. Um, but anyway, I hope it works for her and that she gets people to um, use the makeup, buy the makeup and post. But I'll definitely do some looks for her. So that was on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday, not much music going on. I'm so not in the mood for music at the moment. Uh, Wednesday, we had some people come um, and get a quote to chop the trees down. Like We've got some orange trees and lemon trees being Greek, um, and they're growing, and my dad can't do this anymore, so we've gotten people to come in. We got a quote, which was quite pricey almost three hundred dollars so they better do a good job um i also um had a talk about um i did a zoom session with this group that helps you with a condition that my dad has got um that teaches you about the changes in their brains and what's going on with them and it was really nice to talk to other people and hear that everyone's got issues and it's really quite sad everybody was really quite emotional because we all sort of went around in the group discussing about our person that's not well and what's happening and then you then you can ask questions and get advice so it was it was really good to to have that um on wednesday finally some music i finished a gospel beat called please please i mixed and mastered it it's a really cool beat i put a a little sample on my Instagram CNS songs and I got some really good responses which is really nice I always love to hear from people but I've noticed that on um, um, I've noticed on my Instagram for my music account a lot of the people that follow follow me are producers which is fine um, that's really good so at least I know sort of who I'm talking to and so I've been putting up a lot more posts about editing and mixing and putting things together and that's the stage that I'm at so I'm happy to have people on my journey other producers on my journey and we can share um, everything that we're going through and and you know what well, um, everybody's opinions which is nice um, on Thursday I got contacted by another um, a hip hop artist in the US and he wants me to do a verse on a beat um, a beat that he's got well he said he's got a few beats and he's going to choose one and he said that he saw some of my posts and he's really liking what I'm talking about so um, I look forward to getting something from him he hasn't seen anything yet but I don't know if he's working on his beats he's recording his stuff and then sending it to me I'm um, not sure, but you know these things don't always work out. So I'm happy that he contacted me, and we'll see where this goes. But hopefully something will come of it. Um, also made a beat, make beat video for uh, for Naven's beat. So I'm calling it dripping instead of dripping wet because I think dripping wet's a bit yucky. So I'm just calling it dripping. Um, just waiting for him to see uh, see what he thinks. Um, about it because I've only got a picture of me he hasn't sent me a picture of him so I just made the video and put it on YouTube on private so he can look at it and then if he says yeah cool then I'll release it in the next few weeks um, uh, so being, I'm doing Christmas in July so I got a few more Santa stuff and I got a Santa on a swing but it's not working and I, I put it up what, from Thursday so today is Sunday so from Thursday no I don't think I put it up on Thursday I got it on Thursday but I put it up on Friday and it's got lights around that everything that I bought is solar powered and at first it was a bit silly because um being in winter sometimes there's not enough sun to um, light the lights and but um during the day i've moved the the solar panel so that it's in the sun because we've got a lot of trees in the front yard to put it in the sun so they've been lighting a lot more um but yeah the santa swing has not been lighting i changed where i've put the solar panel thing and we'll see in the next few days hopefully it works because it's really cute and i've really nailed it in <laughs> so nobody steals it um so i'm working on a bee called light it up um that i made with trap hi-hat loop from scratch 
Oh yeah, I saw this, um, I heard the latest beat from DJ Khaled and Drake called Grease, of course that caught my attention, and the disappointing thing about this beat is that Drake doesn't sound like Drake, it sounds like somebody else, and if you look at all the comments on YouTube, it, everyone says exactly the same thing, you know, why does Drake sound like The Weeknd, or why does he sound like a new artist, or I don't know, why would you do that to his voice? But I really like the hi-hats on that, so I've replicated the hi-hats. It's a very basic beat, but I've noticed with the thousands of loops that I've got, none of them sound like that. So I had to do it from scratch, and it took me a while. I think it's still out a bit, so I've got to um, go back to it. But I think it sits nicely in my beat. Um, I think it needs to be a bit faster, but this how I've got it it kind of sits nice and you can check on my Instagram at CNS songs and you can see the post that I've done um, about it um, so that was Thursday on um, Friday so I haven't done much beat making there's only like two beats that I've worked on there on Friday um, I've just had a chill week because the last few weeks have been really quite stressful since we've been in lockdown um, so on Friday, I got the cake palette by Glam Light. I'm so looking forward to getting it. I promised myself I wasn't going to get any more <laughs> makeup or anything. And I've bought a ton of stuff that hasn't come yet. And I am scared to death when it comes because there's a lot of stuff. Um, and it's really backlogged three months back. Um, so the cake palette, I think the cake palette, I got it from an Australian company that's the official supplier for Glam Light so that should come soon um, on Saturday so that was Friday and just chilled and I've checked my calendar but there's nothing else that I did on Friday and um, yeah just had a chill day um, there's always like lots of housework and stuff to do around the house I've done, been doing a lot of gardening which uh, you know I'm not a big fan of but when you have to you have to um, lots of gardening lots of housework and then as a special treat for myself I got the cake palette and then on Saturday I vacuumed we always vacuum on Saturday and then I just chilled um, just did the gardening again. I had to go to Bunnings and get some new tools, new shovels and a hoe and, um, those, those big forks and, um, yeah, it helped do the gardening so much easier because I had little shovels and I bent them over trying to, um, do the gardening. But once I got these new ones from Bunnings, well, the job was so quick and easy. It was wonderful. Um, and on Saturday, I also watched a Ford vs. Ferrari movie. It was it was a bit of a lengthy movie, but I, I enjoyed it. It was quite a slow sort of moving movie, even though it was about um, racing cars. Um, I just thought it was really um, light, very slow paced. And um, yeah, very easy going, easy to watch. Like there were the racing scenes, but otherwise it was really quite mellow which was unusual, it's a very mellow sort of movie, um, and I wonder how much of it is true, um, but yeah, definitely watch that, I always like to watch motivational sort of movies, I mean, it's a bit sad at the end, but you know, it's sort of telling you not to give up and just to keep going for it and to really fight, like for both sides, like Matt Damon's side and Christian Bale's side, like they both had to fight, um, and not each other, they were on the same team, um, so that was nice to see on Saturday and I've been watching lots of like, um, uh, YouTube stuff just to chill out. And I also, um, have been doing lots of yoga, which is nice. And I didn't know that there's this new sort of yoga that I've just discovered called energetic yoga, like power yoga. So it's like working out, but working out, doing yoga. And let me tell you, some of these workouts are exhausting. Like yoga can be really... Um, you can really get a workout doing the power yoga and I absolutely hate constant repetition and some of these power yogas you're doing the same moves like 10 times like seriously 10 times like these cycles of um, postures 10 times it's exhausting I absolutely hate it but you get a really amazing workout um so that was Saturday and today is Sunday and today again just chilled. The weather's been quite mild l lately which is nice. Um, I chilled, 
Um, I cut the lemon and the orange trees like I got up there. I was like a monkey in a tree today. Just got up there and just cut what I could. Got in the got in the tree like a little kid, and just cut um, all the leaves because the trees are getting really dense and they're almost dying because there's too many leaves there and the trees sort of struggling to feed everything so I had to get in there and cut it cut the leaves and I like I got up really high so at times it was fun but it was really tiring my my arms and my legs and my feet hurt like trying to keep myself in the tree at least thank goodness I don't weigh all that much and I could get up quite high because the tree's quite sturdy um, I got the paper and then here we are um, doing the podcast putting all this glitter on <laughs> I hope you guys like my glitter lots of glitter it looks cute and everything's very silver even my jumper is quite silver my jumper is grey and the background is like silver sparkles and the balloons are all silver so it's a very silver <laughs> silver moment so yeah, um, so the beat of the week is called Ha huh? and it's actually a very mellow beat. I should have chosen something else but I don't know when I'm going to hit my milestones. So my 8000 play milestone has come with the beat Ha huh? and it's a very dreamy lo-fi sort of very mellow beat. Um, yeah, very easy going. I don't know how I, I just find samples I just look through my sample folders and just pull out samples hmm how do what's this one what's this one and then when something just kind of feels right I just go with that um, and it was nice to I was watching some tutorials with Aldre and he was um, trying to make some beats with um, decaps latest um, beats that knock pack I think it's volume 8 or 9 I think 8 and he uh, I like that he pull um that he started making a beat and it wasn't good and he's like I don't like this beat and then he tried again he's like yeah no this one isn't good either and that's really good of him because for me I, I always persevere and then when I get really frustrated I try to do the opposite and that's when it really fits into place it works everything works um but very rarely do I like totally delete a beat because I feel like a failure like I failed so for me, I really like to persevere because I tend to give up too easily. And yeah, and I've also been speaking with my mentor about my invention, which is really nice. And because he's a billionaire, I really persevere because I don't want to give up. I don't want him to see that uh, I've given up. Because um, if you... if if you're a billionaire and you have a mentor and you have a mentee and they say to you, oh, this is too hard, I can't do this anymore, wouldn't you be disappointed? I'd be disappointed. I'd be like, you know, stuff you, you know, waste my time and you're giving up. Are you kidding me? So I don't want to give up. I want him to see that I'm going to see this through. So that's the really good thing about having a very successful mentor. I don't want to give up. I want to... I want to show him that I can do it, so I'm persevering, because um, it's it's difficult, it's not easy um, starting an invention and then um, seeing it through, so it's really good to have him there, because he just makes me want to s succeed, and success at the moment is just baby steps, baby steps, because I don't know what I'm doing, and his field is different to my field, like he's in tech and I'm in beauty, and he, mine is a product and his is a service so it's very different but it's more in your characteristic to persevere and to keep going and to questioning and and, and to question things so on that side it works but I don't know I don't know what's going to happen when I need something more concrete that he would know that would help me exactly with my invention I don't know so anyway so that was the week um, I hope you're feeling well, you're doing well, you know, look after your mental health, Lifeline and Beyond Blue are there to help you, um, look after yourselves, talk to your GP, you know, get on social media and just chat to people, um, get into groups on Reddit, not in person, like Reddit's got some great groups, um, trap, hip hop, beat making, 
Um, I'm sure you can find something that you'd really like somewhere and just get in there and just chat to people and yeah message friends and talk to your friends as much as you can and just try to stay active and involved and get out and exercise I don't do that enough I need to get out and walk around but you know when it's cold I'm not going anywhere so yeah all right so that was my week um, look after yourselves, take care, again look after your mental health, share this podcast with your friends or someone you think would like to hear it or see it um, and the beat of the week is called Ha, huh? I hope you like it, let me know, um, chat to me on social media, I love hearing from people and I will see you guys next week, bye.